All righty, here we go. I'm going to show y'all how to make a trench slash dirt hole set. I've been using this for a quite a while, and it, <clears throat> it just, I've always had good luck with it. So I'm going to get you started. So first, you got to dig your hole. this hole to get it, be as deep as you can get it and you'll see why here in just a second but um all right so we got our hole dug move all this dirt out of the way where we just done the, done the hole and uh take our hammer right here and dig it out now you're just digging one side and you only want about two widths of the hammer of it wide. We got dug out pretty good right here. All right, now we're gonna come right here and make a little bit wider at this point because we want to put our trap right here at this spot. So, all right, so now dig our spot for our trap. Now we got our trap dug. Get our trap here. This is it. I think the wax is gonna keep it from. Maybe it didn't. All right, perfect. It didn't do it. All right, great. All right, now we gotta stick a polyfill under the pan. And you can buy this polyfill at Walmart for like five dollars for a bag. And just to tell you how long far it makes you, I bought a bag of polyfill last year, and I haven't even used half of the bag yet. Now we're gonna test our hole. I think it's gonna work perfect for it. My trap. Got a steak. That red clay will make you work for it. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna see if we can get it set. All right, we got our stake set. I always like to fill that hole back up. Just found that hole in where I just drove, dug the, drove the stake in the ground at. We got our little extra trench for our um, shock spring. Don't want that to make a trap wobble on you. Shock spring there. Put some dirt back on top of it. Get a flat bottom right there. Hold the wobble on us a little bit. Perfect. Alrighty. Alright. Now, put some dirt over it. Out of there, find your pan. And now push down on the donut you just made. Hack it in good. I can't stress this is the most important part of trapping is making sure that trap is bedded firm. The only pot spot you want loose is right there on the pan. So go bam. But as you can see, it is not moving. 
that's the good side good thing about red clay is that once you bed that sucker it's there it ain't gonna wobble nine times out of ten but <clears throat> when it freezes it's a pain in the butt alrighty I did knock some dirt back in my hole. I'll pull that out real quick. All right. Now, got this trap set. And you can see it just looks a little bit more realistic compared to just a hole being in the ground. You can make it look even more realistic, like something really, really dug here. I mean, just a gradual slope. When I mean, you think about a dog, when it buries a hole or makes a when it buries a bone in the yard, he comes up to this, he comes up to the spot he wants to dig it, and just does this right here. And you got this slanted slope right here, which is generally a trench, but you got a bit long, deep hole. And I mean, that hole is that deep. There's no way a coyote's gonna get his head all the way down the bottom. But this just looks more realistic to a coyote. And uh, so anyway, we're gonna get her finished up real quick. Hey, I'm just going to give you a little bit, show you what it looks like. You see our hole is right there. You got a trench. You got your pan right in front of it to the right, of it, just a little bit, and uh, it just looks more realistic that way. So anyway, let's get this trap. Let's get this trap finished here. So, sift some dirt over it. Go. Take this, dump it there. Dump this pile here. Kind of making a mound on it. There. And just because I want a lot of eye appeal at this spot, make it look a little realistic. Right here. And then I'm going to guard my make it make him step where I want him to step by just putting dirt clods in the areas that I don't want him stepping at. I don't want him to step on my pan. Guarding that. And the dirt clods don't really doesn't really make them shy away too hard if you just you put a circle of sticks right there it'd be a little different but um all right there should should do it just making this because i mean you think about a dog digging a hole it's gonna be a pile of dirt right here on this back part right here um anyway there we go now we get a little baited and get some bait put in the hole some lure some sheets wool and this will be done. All right. Here today we're gonna put you some Hiawatha Valley, made by Cavens. Hiawatha Valley made by Cavens right there, and uh, gonna get us a good little bit. Throw that down in the hole. Oh gosh. And then we're gonna top it off with some gusto which is also made by Cavens. And uh, I need to find me a little stick or something. Put it right down in the hole. Just a little bit. Chunk that down in the hole. Some sheep's wool right down in there. In the bottom. Give it a little eye peel. And that's the finished set. That is a dirt holes my version of a dirt hole slash trench set and i'm telling you right now the hiawatha valley and gusto combination i don't know what it is about those two put together but uh it has been wearing the coyotes out but hopefully this right here help you get a few more coyotes on your traps bouncing in the morning and uh y'all take it easy and give it a try this this right here is a good set it's a, it's a really good good set Y'all take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.